like 5000 likes to this video, we will implode more patriotic news. Thank you. House Republicans deliver the worst news to Lynch, Comey and Clinton. As all of us know, President Donald Trump is under investigation for his alleged connections with the Russians during the 2016 elections. Also, Robert Mueller was appointed as the special counsel for this investigation. However, Republicans of the House Judiciary Committee are now asking for a second special counsel who will investigate other people for the ties with Russia, such as former Attorney General Loretta Lynch, former FBI Director James Comey, and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. The Republicans even drafted a letter to the current Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Deputy AG Rod Rosenstein on Thursday. Breitbart reports the letter comes on the heels of a Thursday announcement that the committee has approved an investigation of its own into these figures. That investigation is slated to include a probe into ex-director Comey's leaking of his conversations with President Donald Trump through a friend-in-law Professor Daniel Richmond and alleged improprieties in former Attorney General Lynch's handling of the investigation into then-presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's private email server. It was Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein, one of the letter's addressees, who made the initial appointment of Robert Mueller as special counsel to investigate Russian interference after Sessions recused himself from oversight of the probe. Lynch, Comey, and Clinton are already under investigation, however, Republicans want them to receive the same treatment that Trump is receiving. They want a special counsel appointed for their investigations. The Republicans explained why they want another special counsel in their letter drafted to Sessions and Rosenstein. Breitbart reports, many Democrats and members of the Washington media previously called for a special prosecutor to investigate Russian influence on the election and connections with the Trump campaign. Not surprisingly, once you actually made the decision to appoint a special counsel, the calls for further investigations by congressional committees continued focused on allegations that have heretofore produced no evidence of criminality, despite the fact that over a year has passed since the opening of the original FBI investigation. All the Republican members of the committee signed the letter in which they are calling for a second special counsel who will look into Lynch's order directed to Comey to mislead the American people for the Clinton investigation, former Secretary Clinton's mishandle of classified information as well as the connections between Clinton and foreign entities such as Russia and Ukraine. Republicans also want the second special counsel to investigate the wiretapping of President Trump and the leaks of the identities of his associates as well as all the information that Comey leaked to the media. If Trump can be under investigation for the alleged Russia connections, it's only fair that others such as Comey, Lynch, and Clinton, who actually violated many laws, should be investigated by a special counsel. Do you agree? Ben Carson just horrified Paul Ryan with what he just leaked about Trump. Ever since Dr. Ben Carson took the helm of Department of Housing and Urban Development, he's been living a quiet life. There's a lot going on in the administration, but he managed to stay in the background. Although he's been one of the highest-profile nominees in President Donald Trump's cabinet, Carson is maintaining the lowest profile. He really likes the way he lives right now. Washington Examiner reports let me put it this way. I'm glad that Trump is drawing all the fire so I can get stuff done. There's no question that I've been forced to learn very rapidly a lot of stuff. But that's okay, Carson said. I happen to have some excellent people around me at the non-assistant secretary level, at the non-deputy secretary level. Everybody's doing two or three times more than they ought to be doing. Carson is a fast learner. He proved many times that he is very good at his new job. Also, he said that he collaborates with the White House to pick people for the post in HUD. The nominees should be announced at the end of the summer. Despite their differences, they managed to compromise. Although Carson is not pulled into the Russia mess, he said that Trump is fighting back and the White House must hire new people to fill the positions in the federal government. Washington Examiner reports I think they've done well given the level of frustration. I mean, can you imagine you've been elected president and the only thing anyone wants to talk about is Russia? Can you imagine how frustrating that is? Carson said of the White House. 
People say he's wild with his tweets and things. I think he's pretty restrained under the circumstances. Carson feels bad for the president because everyone is asking about the alleged connections with Russia and nobody wants to talk about what Trump has achieved since he took the office in January. However, the talk of the week is the Obamacare and Russian ties are in the background. According to Carson, the problem with Obamacare is that it was done by only one party. There should be a bipartisan deal that both parties can agree on. Washington Examiner reports the goal is really to get these people off the streets where they're in danger, and where they actually cost society more than if you go ahead and take care of them, Carson said. We also have to think about the fact that every single human being has potential, and I look at them as human capital, and if we develop that, we're talking about them becoming part of the engine, and if we don't develop it, part of the load. Carson has stayed out of the spotlight and dedicated his time on his new job. He's determined to help all the homeless people in America. When asked about his relationship with Trump, Carson said that he has a very kind heart and that there are no problems in their relationship. Behind Trump's tweets and his reactions, he's very kind and not everyone can see that. Washington Examiner reports for now. Carson says he intends to remain behind the scenes and allow Trump and others to soak up the spotlight. The biggest change for him may be people calling him Secretary Carson rather than Dr. Carson, with one major exception. When my wife tries to get my attention, she now says Dr. Carson. He jokes. Thank you, Secretary Carson, for saying all of this. Some people needed to hear this. Hopefully they will change their minds about the current president. Henry Kissinger just gave Trump ultimate compliment, stuns even Trump with his words. Henry Kissinger is an American diplomat and political scientist who served as the United States Secretary of State and National Security Advisor under the presidential administrations of Richard Nixon. He is one of the politicians who really understand politics and cares what people think about. On Sunday he did an interview and said very amazing things regarding President Trump, you conservative reports. He starts with, Donald Trump is a phenomenon that foreign countries haven't seen. Liberals and all those who favor Clinton will never admit it. They will never admit that he is the one true leader. The man is doing changes like never before and does all of it for the sake of this nation's people. After eight years of tyranny, we finally see a difference. Kissinger knows it and he continues with, every country now has to consider two things. One, their perception that the previous president, or the outgoing president, basically withdrew America from international politics, so that they had to make their own assessments of their necessities. And secondly, that there is a new president who's asking a lot of unfamiliar questions. And because of the combination of the partial vacuum and the new questions, one could imagine that something remarkable and new emerges out of it. Trump puts America and its people first. This is why people love him and this is why he will remain in charge for so long. There is not a single thing wrong with him and people need to open their eyes. Liberals go insane as Michelle Bachman says the Lord is working through Donald Trump. Michelle Bachman sure can drive a liberal bat sht crazy and boy oh boy did she do that and more with her passionate defense of President Trump. She took down the liberal hysteria a notch and put things in their proper perspective. Advertisement, Michelle said, the president himself is a man of prayer and man who loves to receive prayer. He is a man who, I do believe, understands who the God of the Bible is, and he wants to lift up the God of the Bible here in the United States, before adding the line that drove Pelosi over the edge, the Lord is working mightily in our government, and I believe it is because God is being referenced, God is being lifted up. Prayer is not foreign in the White House, it's not foreign in the Executive Office building, looking to God, looking through Bible studies, this is not foreign anymore. Correct? Sorry liberals take another swing in four years. And we all know how that will turn out, including Michelle who is just getting warmed up. Speaking of Trump she said, he is unashamed in standing up for increasing an awareness of God in the United States. Correct and God bless him for it, 
he recognizes how important that is and that that is a basis of Western civilization. As a believer in Jesus Christ, I could not be more happy with what I am seeing coming out of the Trump White House. This is beyond my wildest expectations. As we all are Michelle, as we all are. Bachman believes and who can argue with her that Trump is helping to save God's image in America because, Trump is somebody who gets the fact that the God of the Bible is, he is, he exists, he is real. This president is very bold about the need for God in our country. Advertisement, share this if you agree with Michelle Bach.